Hi everyone, I'm Tash. Welcome to Fate Flicks. Oh, hey guys. Whoa, is that the time? I got completely distracted. It happens every time I'm on my computer. I get caught up either playing a game or streaming a movie. I get so distracted. But what else should I do with my spare time? Hmm, you know, I didn't even think about going outside. Think of all the great things I could be doing right now. I used to love going for walks in the park and by the river. I even used to love riding my bike. Do you love spending time outdoors? I do. <laughs> well, I did. Actually, I'm not even sure why I stopped. You know, one of the best gifts God has given us is nature. So we should enjoy it. Which is what I'm going to do right now. See ya. Hey everyone, I'm Anne. Let's explore the Bible. Nature is one of the greatest gifts God has given us. And it's so important that when we enjoy the natural world, we also look after it, just like we would look after any special treasure. In the first book of the Bible, we read about how this special treasure we call Earth was made. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Darkness covered the face of the deep. Then God said, let there be light. The next day, God said, let there be water and let dry land appear. Next, God said, let the earth bring forth plants and swarms of living creatures. Oh, I almost forgot. God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night. And so the sun and stars were created. What do you think was made next? That's right, people. Yes, let us make humankind in our image and likeness look after all the earth and everything in it. That is one big responsibility. After all of that, what do you think God did? What do you do when you've done a lot of work? That's right, God rested to enjoy all of creation. Well done, everyone. Have you ever looked out into the night sky at the stars or at a rainbow or laid down on the grass and looked up at the different shapes of clouds? Maybe you have dived into the sea and seen coral or fish swimming. Perhaps one day you can even go to the savannah and see the animals like giraffes and elephants. Or even when you're at home or on your street, you can look at the beautiful gardens or see the leaves turning shades of red and falling. Ah, I love nature. The book in the Bible called Genesis tells us so much, but it's not a science book. It tells us that God created everything, but not how. Its writer did not have access to the knowledge of the world that we do now, but wrote according to the inspiration from God, an account that has meaning for all time. So as Christians, we are always learning things and we are perfectly free to embrace scientific explanations of the evolution of the earth while holding firmly to faith that God created and continues to sustain all that exists. They were amazing science, weren't they? And it's not just the things you see. You can smell lovely flowers or even listen to the wind or birds chirping. Here's a prayer about giving thanks for nature. Oh great God, Thank you for all living and non-living things in our world and for loving us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Listen to our hearts longing for the healing of our world. We offer these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. <sighs> I just got back from my walk. It was great to be in the outdoors with other people. Well, it was great until I came across quite a bit of rubbish just left on the ground. It's strange how people just leave their rubbish around like that. Does that seem right to you? No, it doesn't. Well, of course I did the right thing. I picked up that rubbish and put it in the bin, but it really reminded me about caring for our environment. That is one of the most important things we need to do. Even Pope Francis wrote a letter about it called Laudato Si. 
in which he talks about looking after the home we share with everyone. Earth. In the letter, he reminds us that Earth is God's beautiful gift to all of us. But the problem is that the Earth has never been more mistreated. We keep treating the Earth like it has endless supplies of life and resources, but that isn't true. Taking too much from the planet means there might not be much left for future generations. Now, that's not sharing our home with others, is it? Even though it is clear we are hurting our shared home, most people continue to create too much waste. It's an amazing letter from Pope Francis, and I'm so glad Anne shared that with me. Later today, she's going to show us ways we can repair the earth and the changes we can make to our lives to show God we really love and cherish this amazing gift. I love how the Pope is leading the way to show how we can care for the environment. So, enjoy nature more. It means you'll appreciate it more, which means you'll remember to look after it more. <laughs> well, let's look at all the ways we can enjoy the beauty of nature. Check out how these people are enjoying nature. They're going on a bushwalk. I bet they're walking to the top of that mountain to check out the view. Yep, there it is. Whoa! Now that is a shot of nature I can't forget. How about these people going for a walk on the beach? Or these people in the water? And these people here just having fun at a park? I can see bike riders, people taking their dog for a walk. <laughs> this dog looks like he's having fun. Wow, I'm getting excited about all these things I can do. How great was it to see all those wonderful examples of people enjoying nature? I can't believe I ever got distracted with other things and forgot to just look at all the natural wonders around me. Come to think of it, I love nature and I forgot to even notice it. I bet lots of people have too. Have you? When you get home from school, what do you like doing? Watching TV, playing video games, it's okay to do those things you enjoy, but I think it's important to balance those out with enjoying the great outdoors. Maybe the next time you pray, you can thank God for the wonderful world he has given us. And when you do, use it as a chance to think about all the parts of nature you love. Hey guys, check this out. This is my library bag. I use it to look after the books I borrow. Why is that a big deal, you ask? Well, I want the next person who borrows the book to be able to enjoy it as much as I have. It's just like nature. I want to look after it so that others can enjoy it too. Just like we read in Genesis, God created plants and creatures, and of course us. The earth is home to all living things, so when we care for the environment, we are literally caring for life and for God's creation. So in saying that, there's a few things I want you guys to see. Look at all this beautiful world. It really makes me wonder why we can turn a place like this beautiful forest into this. When we clear large sections of forests, we are not only taking away the homes of millions of creatures, we are also removing nature's natural air filter. That's right. When you remove trees, you cut down the amount of clean air we have. Trees are the lungs of the earth. Look at all the things that can make our air dirty. Hmm. Because of bad leadership in war, some people cannot even stay in their homes and end up in tents with very little clean water. It is good to know that some people are doing wonderful things to protect and restore our amazing forest. We see people planting trees and even establishing parks to protect the plants and animals from building developments. And it's not just trees. Here we see people collecting rubbish from the rivers and land, and even using less plastic each day. How amazing we can be when we work together to look after our planet. Can you see how important it is to take care of our environment? Look after the things today so that others can enjoy them tomorrow. What things can you do to help the environment today? Well, I make sure I recycle everything I can. 
When I'm drawing on paper, I make sure I use both sides of the paper. I even ride my bike places instead of driving a car. Welcome back. What an interesting journey we have been on today. It all started with me realizing that I'd gotten so distracted with other things that I forgot to enjoy nature. Imagine that. It's all around us, but we often forget to notice it. We got to see how amazing and wide ranging nature is and really understand how important it is to look after it. We certainly came a long way today. It's time for our special song. Don't forget to listen out for the part about nature. Nature reminds us of God. The beauty of God can be seen in every sunrise or sunset, every rainbow, every mountain, every bird chirping, and every flower. So take some time to enjoy all that God has given us. <laughs> 